1922. Or 1920. All right, let's do this. Hey, welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink whatever's in their glass without knowing what they're drinking. So if I ever wanted to poison them, like I totally could get away with this and we'd have two very sick people, but I'm not that evil. So anyway, uh, tonight's bottle is gonna be George Remus and it's 113 proof. Um, I'm guessing it's not chill filtered, speaking that we got like some beautiful like precipitation going on in here. I know we've done the repeal, ooh, good cork pop. Um, I know we've done the repeal batch and I'm thinking this is the same, so I'm curious to see what the guys think of it. If you like what you see tonight, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, looking for a Facebook group, go ahead and head on over to uh, Bourbon Blind Nation over on Facebook. We're also on TikTok and on uh, Instagram. Uh, besides that, uh, the guys are going to tell you how much they're willing to pay to get the bourbon in their, or whiskey in their um, glasses in their bar uh, with a dollar amount instead of like points or something silly. Oh, we have um, our barrel put pick for our rye and our bourbon has been postponed just a little bit, uh, but it is happening. So if you haven't claimed a bottle, um, we're going to be doing both of them uh, together. Uh, of the bourbon and the rye of New Riff. Uh, you may want to grab it because um, we're working with a couple other groups. So uh, the bottle amount that we're getting versus other people is going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, Patreon, thank you so much for all of your support, all of your understanding. Um, we have not been able to go live lately. Life has just been crazy, though we never intended like our lives to be weekly for a long time. We were going weekly and we really miss y'all. Um, and we couldn't do this show without y'all. Um, finding bottles right now has been really hard. I have a list a mile long. Yes, I am aware that I'm doing bottles that not anyone is picking. Yes, I do have your lists. If you want to see a bottle or certain bottle on the show, um, and I can readily get it, or Kyle can readily get it, uh, please put it in the comment section or message me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com or on Facebook, Aaron Ragsdale. Besides that, I'm gonna go get the guys and uh, Kyle can have fun editing that. Oh yeah, go have some. Oh, I'm going glass. Stealing. Now I'm gonna go get the guys. You just both wear hats like this, just all the way down. Just like this. <laughs> it's all fine now. We're good. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I'm Nick. We taste whiskey. You know what's up. The lights are really bright. They're, right now. they're bright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're bright, but the whiskey in this glass is dark. You like that segue? That's better. I learned that from Linus. If you hold the glass up, the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that segue from Linus. Linus' segues uh, are pretty fantastic. Pretty on point. They're like dad joke segues. Right. They're pretty great. Oh, yeah. Leather? Caramel? Tobacco? Like fresh tobacco? There's like a real smooth, mellow sweetness. Yeah. A dark custard. Like, I, so I was I was thinking not like a chocolate custard. No, but I, I was but thinking, like, and I didn't want to say because it, it sounded weird in my head. But then I said that. But it, it smells creamy. Yeah. Like. It smells dark. Yeah. No, that's got some good ones. Yeah. It's a re reasonably strong ethanol in the nose, but not. Like it's. It's. it's going to, going into a car analogy here. High volume, low pressure. Yeah. Like, it's, there's a lot of it there, but it's not, like, offensive. Right. Like, it doesn't get up like, there and, like, punch you in the back of the sinus cavity like some of them do. Like, I'm, like, I'm in there. He's, he's there's got a, a schnoz of, deep in the glass. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> Cheek deep. Cheek deep. There you go. <laughs> that's a lot better. That's, um, that's YouTube algorithm friendly. Yeah. <laughs> You guys know what I was going to say. There's a good bit of it, but it's not yeah. upsetting. No, it's, that's, a, that's a solid nose. I would definitely enjoy some whiffs from this glass. Pro tip, uh, if you guys are getting a lot of ethanol on everything, part your lips and like partially breathe through your mouth while you're 
inhaling in your nose right. and it takes off a lot of that ethanol burn. Or maybe if you're around with some friends doing some tastings and they're getting a lot of stuff that you're not, but you smelled a couple of things back to back, smell yep. the back of your hand. This to your brain smells neutral and your arm, kind of resets. Your hand, like, yeah, kind you, of resets your, you, your sense. Yeah, you are you. So like it, it does, it like resets. Now your your brain All says that. that you smell like nothing. Unless it's been like a rowdy day. <laughs> That's why I said don't sniff your armpit, sniff your hand. Right. Unless you've been working around like rear end oil, like gear oil. That's not yeah. neutral. That like leather, tobacco, sweetness. Yeah. Creaminess, deliciousness. Yeah, that's got that's got a real solid Let's... complex well balanced Come nose. On. Let's do a thing. Oh, you're trying to Yeah. Like we, we go I'm, I'm ready to go in. It's got a deep ring to it. It was. It was more of a wall. There's a lot going on there. Dark like, chocolate covered raspberries. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot to unpack on that. Yeah. Like and like dark chover, dark chover, cocklet, <laughs> bazberries, yes. <laughs> huh. The snozberries <laughs> taste like snozberries. <laughs> All right, I'm going in again because like raspberries like, and blackberries and that's leather. It's, it's real oak. strong on the fruit side, like dark fruit. Hmm. Just to tell you where I'm at, okay? I am enjoying this so much that I'm having a hard time picking stuff out. Uh, yes. Yeah, like, thing. I'm just like, wow, that is effing delicious. Like It's <laughs> it's super <laughs> complex. It's very potent. Mm-hmm. The ethanol that was on the nose is still present on the palate. The finish is hanging out for a while. I've still got some dark fruit hanging out, leather. Right. Creamy. Sweet. Custardy, leather, tobacco. Oaky. Oaky. It's definitely oaky. Savory. More just like a, a whole midline of just sweetness throughout the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like I said, a lot of that fruit. Dark fruit, stone fruit. Like. That's real good. This is rowdy. That's. That's really effing good. Yeah, this has... I already, I, I already did these two. <gasps> no! Hey, you did it last week. I did it this week. I know, but I wasn't going to this week. <laughs> I know. <sighs> so I don't know if it's the water or if the disc glass has been sitting a little longer, but the ethanol is either dissipated or the water has toned it down. Yeah. Still get that savoriness. Oak, leather. Yeah. The sweetness is sweetness. toned back. It's still there, but it's toned back. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a hundred percent fine. That's it's, it's just as like, good in a different way. It's almost like they they in this class, right? Like you have all your flavors, okay? Right. You have your chocolate and your raspberries and your oak and your leather and your fruit and all that kind of stuff, right? And, like, it took the peaks of all those mm -hmm. and just brought the peaks down a little bit. And now it's just like a, it's almost, it's just more harmonious. Synergistic. More synergistic, right? It's a, it's a synergistic collaboration. That's, wow. Yeah, with, I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting with the water. I, I don't know, but I'm not mad at it. No, that with with the water, it's. I'm still give my still price delicious. without the water, I, but I mean, I I'm gonna be honest. My price is gonna apply either way. That's that's fair. That's fine. Because those are both delicious. I. Mm. All right, I'm gonna go back in without the water. And try and get a reasonable price tag. So I wanted to just yell out a thousand dollars, but I'm the, not spending a thousand dollars on just about any bottle. So. The ethanol is toned down a lot in the glass after it's set for a bit. Yeah, it has. I would love to just sit down with this for like a good half hour, forty five minutes, just and just pick it apart. I'd, I'd need like a journal, like a notepad, right? 
I would dedicate I'm, like a page to this. So, do you have, do you trying to get a price in mind? Thinking about it. I'm, I'm at at least a buck fifty comfortably. Like real comfortable. I mean, it's one eighty. There is nothing wrong with this glass or that glass. Like mm-hmm. I, I could switch back and forth between them, and not be bothered or concerned in any way. <sighs> do you have a price in mind? I do. Um, all of it. Just make it rain. Just, just make just. <laughs> we'll just. Yeah, it's, it's that much. This is like a hundred and eighty to two hundred and twenty dollar model for me. Oh, that's which is the highest price tag you've ever given. It is. It is. Uh, I think I've given a couple of others or one or two others, that maybe like two like in the two hundred dollar range. But this, I think, is the first one I've gone over two hundred. This <sighs> this bottle is an experience. Yeah. Not only is it one of those that it's a unique experience. It's a good experience, mm-hmm. but the flavor. Like, it's an enjoyable experience. Like, we've had bottles that have been a unique experience. But this is... But, like, I would have them just for the experience right. to share that experience with other people. This is one I would experience myself repeatedly. And it's going to be like Wild Turkey 101. Evan Williams White Label. Russell's Reserve <laughs> Single Barrel. I'd be okay with that. I mean, I would too. <laughs> all right, should we clean up all the money? I need to fan myself with all these hunnets. Mm. Throwing hunnets. 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 What, what? All right, so. I don't even know if I'm, like, I, I don't know that I'm hand. enough of a man to give that a drum roll. You know? Like, that's a bottle. A moment of silence, please. Oh, snap! What in... George Remus. That is MGP's own label. If MGP makes whiskey for pretty much everyone. I, not everyone. Most of the small distilleries or non-distilling producers uh, get their stuff from MGP. If you don't know that already, you probably should if you're watching this. MGP saw everyone coming out with all their... All their... All MGP's product with other people's labels on it. And the market went effing crazy for it. Just about anything MGP, and everyone was like going crazy. So MGP was like, "Hey, uh, Midwest Grain Products, I think." Um, mm-hmm. uh, they're like, "Hey, if everyone's going crazy over our stuff, like, why don't we just put out our own bottles, and then we can make the money on that?" This is a so they did not a single barrel. No, it is single barrel. I'm sorry. It is um, selected by the party source in 2020. Yep. Uh, cast strength 113 proof. I don't know what the age is on it. Uh, um, I'm gonna a guess great question. it's in the 8 to 10, yeah, 8, 8 to 12 to year. Yeah. Um, it's definitely got some age on it. Uh, there's way too much. Yeah, I feel like it. that's for MGP that's in that 8 to 10. Yeah. Not always. Sometimes, the flip of the coin. MGP after 10 years, like people are like, oh, I gotta get that 12 or 13 year MGP. A lot of times it's just an oak bomb. Like, if you like that, then more power to you. So good. But just realize that before you're like, ooh, this one says nine years, but this one's 12, so I'm going to get the 12. Like, age is not everything. And that is just... fantastic. Wow. Wow. You know... I like that much better than the uh, Remus Repeal Reserve. Which is pretty solid. Which is a solid murder. Granted, this is a single barrel, and it was a pick. Party Source, uh, they have been doing picks since picks have been picks. They know what they're doing, yeah. and yeah, that's just, just effing fantastic. Just, just, take my, just take my money. I'll take the money, you take the bottle. There you no, go. That's, you know what? That's fine. That's worth it. Yeah, we're good. MGP has a couple labels. Lots of other people have product under the MGP. Produce, I guess you could say. They're, it's MGP's product in their whatever people. The one we bottle. did last week, Smoke Wagon MGP. Yeah, yeah, that's an MGP bottle. Um, that is something else. Even with the water, it's just so good. Yeah. Wow. So be sure to check them out. Uh, Patreon members, absolutely love all of you. 
The new rift pick did get pushed back to September. Good Going news back for that more is detail. gives you uh, more time to get in and right. snag yourself a bottle or so, two. It is have to be a pre-sale because we have to pay for the barrels before. It's going through the gift shop. So um, we'll be opening that up soon. But yeah. you see one of these single barrels, just pick it up. D -d 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 just do it. Yeah. Don't even ask questions. Just, yep. I mean, if they have one open, taste it because then you have more than what you've paid for, right? It's There's true. no downside to that. Free samples. So, yeah, check that out. I, that's freaking fantastic. I enjoy this more than I've enjoyed some of the, the BTAC stuff that I've had and some of the super allocated tater stuff mm -hmm. that I've had. Um, that's wild. And I like, enjoy it a lot more than a lot of the other stuff that's like super sought after and right. allocated. Please don't, don't fuck this up for me. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's, that's rowdy. That's wild. I'm in it. In it to win it. In it to win it. So you guys are in it to win it. We love you guys. If you stayed this long, congratulations. And uh, until Friday noon central next week, cheers. Drink blind. I drank both my glasses. You're an adult. <laughs>